Tonight on Eorzean Hoarders, West has to rescue an army of retainers in addition to the adventurer causing the issues. Clear out and start over. You literally can't get them ever again. Can he save them all? Or will some of these retainers be left with broken backs for the rest of their days? Retainer number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. West's biggest challenge yet arrives tonight. Welcome to Eorzean Hoarders. I'm your host, Wes Galber. I'm here to save the inventories and the lives of adventurers all around Eorzea. Those of you suffering from chronic hoarding are being crushed, but hope is not lost. Together, we can conquer your hoarding. And for all you watching, pay close attention and you too might be set free. Tonight, we visit Michael, who has quite a lot of inventory space. They have a whole seven retainers to store stuff on. So while they seem to have an infinite amount of space, even infinity has its limits when you don't clean up. Let's start with the obvious, the inventory. There's a lot wrong here, for a variety of reasons. I guess I'll start small. This earring, armory chest, or glamour dresser. The dresser is probably the better choice since, are you even using it? Can apply it to your glamour plates. Also, look at this. This is fresh hoarding. This is Halloween gear. This can be put not just into the glamour dresser, but the armoire. You have no need for it to take up space at all. It's a waste to be holding on to this. Glamouring isn't this hard that you need to be carrying it. And even if it was, plates are going to be enough, I'm sure. Put these away. And while you're there, if any of these blue and green gear are for glamour, put them in too. If these aren't for glamour, why are they here? This is a waste of space and a waste of resources. You could get a good chunk of Grand Company seals to spend on however many things you could need. More repairing, more cordials, more anything you need. Especially all these accessories. Your jobs are all leveled except for Blue Mage. You're not keeping all this for Blue Mage. Leveling is not that complex to need these accessories. And that's already a fifth of your inventory cleaned. Most of what you're holding doesn't seem to be useful to you. It's just there. Like these four potions and... I think those are elixirs? Those elixirs will sell to feed the magic jar and get the minions from it. But the potions? Second Wind will be what saves you. Also a tactician, Mr. Bard. Those two tea and three finger sandwiches also seem to be a waste. It's not like you have anything left to level, and a couple boiled eggs will serve perfectly for Blue Mage. This next bit might be the weirdest part of your inventory. 166 clear prisms versus 42 glamour prisms? Oh, and one more here. You are storing glam prisms in two spots and not just one. The point is, why so many clear prisms? Sell them off and just get glamour prisms from your grand company? Not that you need all that many with the glamour dresser being a thing now, but it's still the better option. While you're at it, store the dyes away. If not using the yellow, sell it. The green dye is rare, or it might be something you need to keep. If it's not the tradable kind, make the judgment call. But be honest with it. Don't keep it just because it is not tradable. Keep it because you will use it. This entire section is rough though. One precision shaft? I believe that's a precision shaft. That's an umbrake, correct? A sack? Is that Palace of the Dead loot? Oh, and the six bolts. Little bits of relic stuff but not enough to actually say you're actively doing them. The Alexander items for Anima are super easy to get. I'm right, it's cheap. Decide if you're actively planning to do Anima. That also assumes these are the relic ones, not the random drops. If it's the random drops, definitely just toss them. Can trade those six bolts for accessories to then sell to your grand company. This is Diamond Dust, isn't it? I'ma just take this with me. I could use some ice for my ice chest, not like you or any other hoarder is using it. I could at least have some nice cool drinks. What is it about these things that attract every hoarder? None of you are using it, will ever use it, and it's so easy to farm it. I'm not sure what kind of weapon coffers these are, but why? These are from an old raid? Two raids even, since multiple coffers? You're at max level, there's no use keeping these. Figure out if they're useful for the glamour, or open them and sell off the contents. Same for the minions. Use them, sell them, or give them to friends. I'm sure most of these aren't too pricey, but it's better than nothing, and you get space back. 
Triple Triad cards. What attracts hoarders to these two? Gold Sauce is not that far away. Can do weekly visits for the Glamour Contest, Mini Cact Pot, maybe two times a week for the Jumbo. If you're not visiting because you're good on MGP and nothing to buy, these cards are literally worthless. Just throw them in the trash. Equally worthless are these faded copies. You have two of them. Two. That says to me that it is easy to obtain, nobody wanted it, and is even more worthless than you could get. There is just no need to keep these. You either craft them immediately, or toss them. You meanwhile need to just toss it. For the third panel! God, what is this? No rhyme or reason across almost any of this. Maybe the food can be made into... something? But the rest of the crafting items are all pointless to be holding on to. That's iron, isn't it? You can even buy this from vendors, and might even have bought it. Ten animal hides? Hey, that's ten gil from the market board. These are almost always essentially free to buy. Then these, they're Garuda feathers, aren't they? The easiest item to obtain if you wanted to. You can solo her in seconds. You just... you don't need these. You probably don't even want them. We could wipe out this entire inventory section, and I doubt you would miss it. It's so random. All I can see is you just tossing trash into a pile. Maybe you have a larger pile of these in your retainer and you just randomly took some out? We'll see soon. But there's so few of each, my hopes are low. Let's dig into your saddlebag and... Oh god, this is even worse. And it says a lot about your bad habits of having some items take up multiple slots. Here we have more Umbrite. Screws, why are they here, and in your inventory. It does seem like you're working on relics a bit more now, but are you really? The resistance weapon relic items down here are looking way more numerous. Seems to me you're working on those, not anima. Which means, stop collecting all this anima stuff. Let's start back up at the top though, for the rest of the saddlebag. Fishing. It seems like you're big fishing. I can't argue against any of this if that is the case. If it's for normal fishing, make sure you're using any of this. Easy way to make some space, assuming it's not touched. All these tribal currencies. There isn't a need to keep all this. This is across so many tribes. We got Sylphs, Kobold, Sahagin. Throw this out. Your tribes are maxed out, I bet. Have you even been back to those tribes in the last year? You've had plenty of time for it. But did they get even a passing visit? Immediate trash. Four Eureka Crystals. Toss. Not even gonna give an alternative. The Boja Coins, maybe hold on to because it does seem you're actively doing resistance weapons. You'll be back inside fairly regularly. There's just too much here for me to see it as otherwise. These lockboxes and the lost action crystals. Go open them. Or sell them right away in the case of the actions. Easter housing items. Easter. You either don't have a house or are holding on to these for no reason. Housing has built-in storage. Put these in an apartment at least? Hell, I think those are Easter egg quest items over there. The event is long over. You can't spend them now, and never can spend them. Throw them out. I like Easter, what can I say? Eggs are nice. Not sure what all of these are. I think these are Ifrit horns? And those are Rathalo scales? But all of this? Open it and toss it to the wind. Five coffers is so few and likely is all just fireworks. All this though, all these Omega Raid items, just chuck it. If you were going for Glamour, you were going to pick up very specific tokens and immediately turn them in. Same for these Asphodelos tokens. You have blades for the weapon, the old weapons. The current tier's normal tokens are fine, but only as long as you intend to use them. Loot boxes, open them. What are these plates? Are these from... I'm not even sure. Seems like an easy toss too. These materia tokens though, should spend all the non-endwalker ones if you aren't actively hunting. Like, I think the two stack is for the crafting materia, so head to Relgers and turn them into control materia. While there, turn the battle tokens into... whatever. You're probably vendoring it all. Shadowbringers and endwalker tokens, they seem like they're actively growing in size. Shadowbringers, if you did stop hunting, trade them in and sell them off. The Endwalker tokens? That's fine. Though, maybe put the ones in the inventory in here? Multiple slots for the same items? Again, it's issues like this that fester and spread. 
make sure you're putting things all in the same spots. These here though, these are the old PvP wings, aren't they? Toss them instantly to the trash. Not sure what these two are. I think this is more Abyssos boots, but not entirely sure. Generally though, probably trash. And these, Cascadia vouchers. You can literally buy these for like one achievement's cost. Trade these in at Mordona for a bathing suit to put into the dresser or toss them. It's not that important to keep. But all right, we've already done a lot of work, but you're not alone in this one, are you? You have your retainers. You've roped quite a few of them into your problem. How many retainers do you really need, hmm? Talking with them, they agree you have a problem. This episode sponsored by youtube.com slash at West Gaming. Did you know about that cool factory game called Satisfactory? It can be very relaxing and confusing in equal measure. How about that Sonic Frontiers is actually good? Check out some S rank runs. West Gaming, where hot takes go to live. Before our commercial break, West confronted Michael with how they've roped in seven retainers to their hoarding. Usually happy in their stations, even these retainers are worried for their employer. You've roped quite a few of them into your problem. How many retainers do you really need, hmm? Talking with them, they agree you have a problem. They are glad to have work, but they believe that if you stopped hoarding, started being organized, four of them would be free to find other work. That's how much you've let it become a problem. I didn't think even my retainers would say I have a problem. They just took what I gave them, I guess. They didn't know what to say. Looking at retainer number one, it becomes obvious to see why. The issues with your main inventory, but even worse. Four pieces of granite here, one piece here, uncut gems galore, a single head of cabbage. These are Mithrite nuggets, right? One high quality and two no quality? Why not lower the quality and make it one stack? Your crafters are all level 90. Anything less than endwalker materials, keeping separate stacks of no and high quality is pointless. You can one button max the quality without even being a specialist. I know how hard Heavensward crafting is, how awful it can be to craft the items involved, but not even those are worth keeping if you're not actually using it. There isn't a single item in here I would keep, because there's a lot of it or especially tough to make. I would sell all of this off. No exceptions, clear out and start over. Retainer 2. All Materia. This is alright, but I would say to toss anything that isn't Endwalker Materia. The Aroma Reborn Materia sells well, since it's used for Zodiac Relics. You have other Relic items, but I've not seen anything else specifically Zodiac yet, as far as I've seen. If you intend to do it, fine, but get rid of the middle expansion materials, unless you plan to best in slot meld your Blue Mage at 70 and 80. Retainer 3. Potentially the biggest mess of them all. More Alexander pieces, more Omega pieces, those five horns might be behemoth horns, but whatever they are, this thing? I don't even know what this thing is. More materia tokens that don't belong here, and a Glaia coin that I saw in your saddlebag. The Nia coins can get gone and stack up your same items together. Don't randomly toss them to this retainer or that pile. Use the search feature if you're having problems. I would even say these should stay in your main inventory. These tokens here, I don't know what they are, but likely worthless Rowena tokens. This thing, I don't know what this is. This is literally an item I've not seen before, I think. With that in mind, this is what I would do. Take into account that some of these items are already present in other places and merely you can just stack them up and be rid of everything but the Zodiac class. Though if you're not doing Zodiac relics, that can be tossed too. You can buy a new one. While we're on the second page, all of this too just about. These wings might be silver chocobo feathers, but if they're the PvP feathers, gone. If these are Ruana tokens, gone. And these yellow Demi Materia, they literally say they're for selling. Go give these to the Domen Enclave. They double your money and free up room. Instead, you're just chucking things at random at your retainers. Just because you have seven, you aren't paying attention to what you have. Retainer four. Just clear it out entirely. If you had an apartment, the housing items would be in there. Cheap, plenty of them, and yet no home. 
You even could just go for an FC room for cheaper. You have options you just aren't using. Cordials you could have in your main inventory. More bait than my big fishing self has ever carried on me at any time. And more random rocks and trash. You even have those damn Moogle Tomes. You literally can't get them ever again. Why not just spend them? The only items here that might be saved is the diadem stuff you had processed. But even that isn't worth it unless you have plans. Retainer 5. More of those cogs, another unsung blade that you won't use, more tokens, and all these damn orchestrian copies. If you're going to craft them into something, you would have done it long ago. Just give them to a random vendor. Also, my guess is this one in specific is Riptide. This is your housing item retainer. Why are any other retainers or inventories holding onto housing items? And why don't you just put them in a home? You have options. Putting all your hopes on the housing market isn't going to get you anywhere. Well, it will. It'll put you into drowning from hoarding it all. If you don't see success in 6.3's housing edition, toss it all. And wait, page 2 has stuff. What's with all these random crafting items? You even have bat wings and fish. It's just so thrown around without care. That's how I know you aren't crafting actively. There's no sorting, not even organized chaos. Organized chaos doesn't have the same items taking up three different spaces. All of it. Gone. The only way you can be free is if we just get rid of it all and start again. Retainer 6. Same here. These clothes are glamour and it should be in the dresser, if anywhere. All these music rolls. Only one was made. This one is Riptide. More bolts too, though these might actually be crafted ones. You actually have some decent counts on some of the items, but still, the only way I can see us fixing this for you is tossing it all. Let someone else buy it. Retainer 7. The final retainer. Relic, I'll let you keep. Just know, you can buy replicas to put into the Glamour Dresser. Three Alexandrite which are easy to get and another Zodiac Glass? You even have two Zodiac Glass. Toss them both, you're not even trying with them. Diadem items should all be stored together, so that means you should sell them off or toss them. The items you couldn't even turn in at the Diadem Kiosk should have been thrown out. Do you see the problem? It's so bad that I'm not even trying to salvage some of it. It's better for you to just start over. Truly see what you have and what you were wasting space with. You've probably forgotten what most of this was yourself. You didn't know you have most of it. Save your retainers, save yourself. It's time to let go. It's time to stop hoarding. In the months since Wesker laid waste to Michael's inventory, he was seen in the Gridania markets, but only barely, as he was surrounded by all seven of his retainers. Whether it was because he kept them on out of respect, or because the hoarding problems have continued, is unknown. Recovery is a tough road to walk, but we at Aeors and Hoarders wish him the best of luck. Thank you for watching Aeors and Hoarders. Subscribe for more, and for more properly structured guides. Support the show and the channel with my Patreon. Can also follow my Twitch where I'll be playing lots of other games including all the Final Fantasies. Can follow my Twitter for random updates or commentary. Take care and may the power of Anna and Hogs lay waste to your inventory. In addition, thank you to everyone who submitted for this series, and an extra special thanks to all my patrons. Thank you in particular to Astrid Weller, Ayman Al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Cyrix, Ethan Olson, Ethan W, Fraser97, James Hall, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. See you all for next episode.